hello welcome guys so as you already know that take mahindra have started sending emails for selection for selection for next round it means that they will offer in uh, they will send offer letter right so in previous video i have mentioned that they have sent email to a student that they required some additional certificate details so in this video i will show you how many documents you need to submit and what kind of document you need to submit to take mahindra so if you have any query you can come to us and you can ask whatever query you have i have given email address below you can mention that foxtechacademy at gmail.com so let's start it before going to a start i request you to if you want to share your interview experiences you can share with us you can write email to us and attach your passport size photos in that email and mention your interview experiences we will create one separate video for that and we will publish so that other student can get help from your interview experiences so let's get started so if you see uh, in this video i will show you all the documents required for tech mahindra and what kind of document they are asking so if you have any query related to it you can ask with us so if first document you will see is that 10th mark sheet so first required 10th mark is you should have your 10th mark sheet another document is that your 12th or diploma mark sheet or certificate and certificate for 12 or diploma you should submit two certificate mark sheet certificate and your actual certificate and third certificate will be your graduation certificate for this you need to mention that if like suppose if you are in last semester you didn't get your certificate you can submit provisional instead of that certificate so pdc is that provisional document certificate so in graduation certificate degree certificate section you can submit pdc if you don't have your actual certificate if you have not completed your degree and the certificate is that in that one certificate they have mentioned all this score card all the score card related to each and every semester so you need to submit this two document for graduation details and the last detail is that government id proof in government id proof you can submit aadhar card you can submit pan card you can submit passport or even you can submit voter id card so this kind of id proof is valid for government id proof and you can submit these things so how you will submit and what kind of approach you need to follow so you need to merge all this document in a single pdf and you need to share that single pdf with uh, to your uh, whatever they assign so how you can merge all the certificate in single pdf you can open your word in word you can paste all this document and you can save that word document as a pdf or other there are too many online websites where you can upload your different different images and they will merge all the images in one pdf so these all documents you required and you need to submit all this document so last remember first document is your 10th certificate or you can say 10th mark sheet second the 12th or diploma mark sheet plus certificate third graduation degree certificate plus your one certificate in which certificate they mention all this all your semester scores if you have not your degree certificate you can submit provisional also and the last is your government id proof and you need to submit all this document in a single pdf remember you need to submit all this document in a single pdf so if you have any queries you can comment us you can write query as to us at fosttechacademy@gmail.com thank you so much for being here we will meet in next video